Hi, I'm gonna talk about how to whiteboard anyone about anything. So to recap here, the drug didn't get any better, the cancer patients didn't get any better, you just got better at making money. It's not just a useful tool in Congress. You can use it in your personal life, and I do, to hold my kids accountable. The first rule is to work backwards. Start by really figuring out what do you want to know? Do you want an apology? Do you want someone to do something? If you don't know what you want them to do, you won't be able to hold them accountable to deliver it. The second trick is let the whiteboard do the work. What do I mean by this? Don't use a lot of words. This could be math, this could be a picture, this could be a short message. Let the whiteboard do the talking. You're spending all this money to make sure you make money. The third thing is control the conversation. Somebody is going to be in charge of the conversation and I suggest it be you. It might as well be you because you, you have a goal, you have a whiteboard, you're in charge. The fourth technique is don't fear the silence. This is so important. I think for so many of us, when we hear silence, we feel the need to fill it in. So ask your question and then stare into the depths of their soul as if you're gonna rip the answer out of them. I've got an empty whiteboard ready to take down your justifications. I know it seems like I've been silent a long time, but when you're taking down these CEOs, sometimes I just, for seconds at a time. Last trick, be fearless. You are on the side of justice. You know what you want and you deserve to get an honest answer. 